Hi, this is Mr. Max with Sun Kofa. Mathematics, I have a quick question that I'm quickly explaining. It's a question that was taken from the leaked question paper. It's about logarithms. Uh, and this question, they say you must express log x cubed plus log x squared y squared minus log x y cubed as a single logarithm. So which means your answer should be log with some single stuff, okay? So maybe um, let's just look at these first two, what they mean, right? So when you are adding logs of the same basis, it means you are going to multiply the numbers, okay? Um, perhaps I can just do that. So you have what x square, y square. All right, so these numbers should multiply with each other, or these letters, as you can say. And then you have a subtraction here. Okay, so let me just clean up the stuff in the middle. Um, so the stuff in the middle here, if you multiply, obviously, um, x cube times x square, when you multiply and the bases are the same, you will add the indices. All right, so that becomes x to the power 5, and then y squared is where it is. All right, and that's log. So I took care of that part. Now, there is something else, and I hope you still recall. If you are subtracting logs of the same basis, here we know the bases are base 10. Okay, so if it's not written, you should know that it's base 10. So that's like base 10 base 10 okay so it's not written what do we do we divide the numbers so that becomes log and then I have got this x to the power 5 y squared upon x y cube all right so this has to be divided with each other all right so um, again remember this is x raised to the power of 1 here so when you are dividing and the bases are the same. So I'm just going to do that here. Okay, so like x to the power 5, when you divide by x to the power 1, you are going to subtract the indices. So that gives you x to the fourth for the numerator there. Okay. And when you get to the denominator, you have got something like this. So you have got y square divided by y raised to the power of 3. So when you subtract, you are going to have y raised to the power of negative 1 which is the same as 1 over y. So that y will be under. So this is therefore the final answer, all right, that we are looking for. So your answer should be log of that business over there. So it's two marks. There are many ways you can do it, but I think a little bit like that, perhaps you should be able to get it. Now we know what that is, all right? So that gives me log x to the power 4 upon y, so now they are saying if that business is equal to zero, so you are supposed to find, express y in terms of x. That's like make y the subject. So it means I have log of x to the fourth upon y equals to zero. Now there are many ways you can do that. So you, we should have some y equals to something here, all right? Okay, where there's the x is somewhere in here. So that's basically what... Uh, that part me it's like make y the subject of the formula right so that brings me to i would perhaps i hope you're familiar with if you have something like log let's say base 10 raised to the power of something let's say x is equal to let's say 2 how do you find what that is so you should be actually very comfortable writing something from log form back to exponential form. So that 10 kicks up that 2, all right? So therefore, our x will be 10 times 10, leaving x to equals to 100, for example. So I'm going to use that same reasoning here. I'm going to say, okay, wait a minute. That is going to become 10 raised to the power of 0 is equal to x raised to the power of 4 upon y. So in a nutshell, I actually got rid of the log, okay? All right, so I'm just going to take this off. So this was just used to explain the concept there are obviously many ways one can do it, but uh, I think that should do for now, okay? Right, so once you are out here, I think you can actually um, work out what 10 raised to the power of 0 is equal to, okay? So 10 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, okay? Anything raised to the power of 0 except 0 is equal to 1.
right so from here you just sort of cross multiply if you wish to say that and then you have y equals to x to the power 4 okay so y will therefore be x to the fourth power all right so uh, I guess if you have questions about any one of these papers you can pose them and I'll definitely explain that to you okay so I'll be doing this paper and I'll do it bit by bit but it is on the channel the whole paper was worked out by a very close friend of mine okay good luck with your studies